Everybody, this is Chris Canella with ESP Guitars, and I'm talking to you from Winternam 2017 out here in Anaheim, California. We're just going to run through a couple of things that are happening right now with ESP for the new year. We have a ton of stuff to go through, so we're just going to hit on a couple of points. Starting off right now, we have some new colors in the EC256s. We have cobalt blue and a see-through purple. Now take a look at these tops. The value on these guitars is second to none, and you'll be able to find them here at AMS as well. We have some new colors here for the, uh, for the X-Tones, so we have it in a sonic blue as well as a seafoam green. One important thing that I'd like to show everybody is over here, these are the 400 series. The point of these guitars is to have huge bang for the buck, the classic totalitarian bolt-on design, but with just a raw wood satin finish and all the great components with EMGs, Seymour Duncans, Floyd Rose Tremolo, bound neck and headstock, Rosewood fingerboards and just mahogany bodies. Solid raw woods, just great tone, great bang for the buck. Uh, and one thing we'd like to show off as well, thank you, Dana, our friend Dana over here. Not Dana White, but Dana Wood. And uh, we have these two new piezo models here. People have been asking for them. So what we did is we put out the EC 1000s, but with the piezo, and we added the extra bells and whistles to this one because we're ESP and we're not just out to try to give you the minimal. We like to get, you know, go over the top with it and give you everything that you earned. So that is, we have an active preamp system in there for the piezo. You have a blend, so you can have the piezo, a mix, and uh, the magnetic pickups. So you have two different output jacks. You can run them both separately or you can run them simultaneously. Um, and you can run one at a time as well. One of them is the blend and the other one is just strictly magnetic. So great, great options. And we have that in a, the see-through blue as well as the see-through black. Now, let's jump over to the signature models because we have a lot of great stuff going on in signature model land. Of course, we, have, we always like to mention as we're passing by that we are indeed heavy in the bass market. And as you can see, we now make basses for bass players. And the new line that we have been pushing for a while has been amazing to us, and places like AMS have been so supportive to help ESP's baseline really jump over to the top and go to the next level with us. We really appreciate it, and all of you out there who's actually looking at this. In signature model world, this is what's new coming out right now. One thing that we just announced this morning, I want to bring your attention over here, is to the Kirk Hammett demonology graphic. They just, he just used this exact LTD when they played the Fonda Theater on their uh, club tour for the new album uh, for Hardwired Self-Destruct. And let me tell you, this thing has just been blown up already. New graphic, new idea, just looks killer. And we just announced that this morning at 10 o'clock, and we got the AOK -okay from Kirk last night. So we put it up in the last second. Now, another big announcement like we have here, Brian Head Welch of Corn. About a year ago, he gave us a call and he wanted to design a guitar from scratch. We wanted to work with a company that is very artist-centric, which we are. And we pride ourselves on our artist roster because we don't just have guys for the sake of having guys. These are relationships. And everybody that we have on our roster are friends. These guys, we call each other, see how we all know each other's families. And it's a big roster, but we're very close to each other on that. And people that are not on the roster anymore, Probably because we just weren't very, we didn't get along very well. And that's as easy as that. So Brian Head Welch, amazing dude, came on board. Uh, we designed this new um, Horizon style guitar with thinner horns here, Evertune, heavy arching in the center, and the Fishman Fluence pickups. It's a neck through design with a satin, with a satin natural finish on the back of the neck. Just a killer guitar. And such a huge guy to have around. Now, this is not a signature model, but it is an homage or a tribute to the design that Vernon Reed made famous back in 1986 with the band Living Color and the Cult of Personality video. One of the earliest DSPs, possibly one of the earliest DSPs ever shown on national TV. Him and George Lynch, I think, have the two oldest DSPs uh, in professional music. And this guitar um, is very authentic to the original with the painted back. It is five layers of paint. So it starts off as white, then you put the pink, then you put the blue, then you put the green, then you sand it down so all the colors show through, and then you gloss it. So what does that do? It means it weighs a little bit, but it looks cool as shit, doesn't it? Or cool as heck stuff. 
words. And um, over here, another big, another big thing that we'd like to talk about here, Bill Kelleher of Mastodon. Another person that I like to say is just absolutely one of the best guys that we've ever had to work with. And we designed the new Sparrowhawk from every level of the line drawing on. And we worked on this thing for months. We came out with the Eclipse first, and then we did the Sparrowhawk. And he was so in love with this that I, I, I don't even have to say this because on the new Mastodon record that's coming out, 80% of his parts are recorded with the LTD. And that's a pretty big statement to make. He just loves it that much. And he really stands behind it. And he's, like I said, he's a great guy to work with. And you'll be seeing him here this weekend. If you're in Anaheim, come on down and check out his performance. If not, well, I guess you're just going to have to hear about it later. And uh, going on to the next, one of the things I like to mention off the, right off the bat here is that Lars Fredrickson is possibly the most genuine punk rocker on the planet. Uh, this is a guy who refused to endorse anything. He is not about it. He's against the establishment, against the whole idea. He is true punk rock. He's also a diehard metalhead as well. People don't know that, but he actually has a metal band. And so we have a mutual friend that's in a recording studio in Arizona, and he called me up out of the blue saying, hey, man, uh, Lars wants to talk to you about his first endorsement. So he's talked, got along great. Now, I remember when I first brought him into the office and walked him around to everybody and showed him off to the president and our vice president, they had no idea who he was, and they were like, who is that guy that looks just like he just got out of San Quentin walking through our office? I'm like, that's right, he's one of us. He's the best. And he's so much fun to work with, so on point, and we made this guitar truly genuine to him and his family. This is Danish camo. This is part of his family heritage, as well as the back of the headstock has got his family crest. It's a thinner Viper style, um, and it's also very lightweight. And these pickups are only available on this guitar from Seymour Duncan. It's one of a kind, and this has been a blast. The media has been going crazy on the fact that Lars is actually endorsing his first product, and it's with us. And why does he want to work with us? Because he feels that we're the same as him. You know, he's, uh, he, he likes to work with a company that is as genuine as he is. We're a small company. We all wear multiple hats, and uh, we run lean and we run mean. And that's what we do here at ESP. So for all you guys out there watching this, take a look at AMS. Uh, go online, check out the catalog, and you can also go to ESPGuitars.com. So if you have any questions, write us, and I'm out.